WhatsApp has launched their business voice calling APIs. So what this means? Now, not only you can build your AI voice agents on top of WhatsApp, you can also connect your traditional VoIP call centers like IP phones to the WhatsApp network through SIP trunk. This has huge potentials. You will get 100% free incoming calls. You do not have to worry about the try compliances like having the CIN number or private entity to get the virtual phone number. In fact, you do not even need to get the virtual phone number. You can use your existing WhatsApp number or any normal SIM card uh, with the WhatsApp. Also, there is no any minimum monthly billing commitment like Pluo. Like Pluo is having 75,000 rupees of monthly billing commitment. So this is huge. You should definitely include that into your workflow. And there are several paid services like Twilio, Wati, Exotel, Respond.io already started offering these services to their customers. If you are a fan of open source and if you want to have the full control on the system, sell fast on your own server, you should definitely check out Chatwood CRM. It's an open source CRM. They are into last phase of releasing uh, development cycle of releasing this uh, WhatsApp integration feature into the CRM. You should definitely ch check out. And if you are a hardcore developer like me, and if you want to build something from scratch or build some new solution from scratch, I have also provided one example repo, working repo uh, in the description. Check the GitHub repo link in the description. Thank you. Please note, even though all incoming calls are 100% free, you cannot call any WhatsApp number directly. You need permission from user to call them, right? So your workflow should be like, you are running the WhatsApp marketing campaign, user receives the message, and within that message only, you request user for the contact, okay? And once user allows that, then only you can call that user, either via your AI voice agent, or uh, with your human agent, or your idea of workflow. And you can call them back only within the seven days of once you get that permission. And you can only send maximum of two callback requests or call requests in the spam of 15 days. So please note, these are very, uh, let's say, uh, strong spam restriction policies uh, we have to follow. Okay, let's test WhatsApp calling with Ultravox AI voice agent. So let me open the WhatsApp. Let me select my test number and let me call it through WhatsApp. So I received the call, I'm accepting the call. Hello and welcome to Yohita Technologies. I'm your AI assistant. To better serve you, may I please have your name, contact number and the company you're calling from? I'm uh, Amit. Can you talk to me in Hindi? I understand your talk. I can talk to you in Hindi. Please tell me what you need to help from Yohita Technologies. So let me give you a quick overview of a course. So in this code, I have server.js. Uh, if you run this, it will act as a, a normal calling scenario. Like you get call from WhatsApp and uh, you can answer the calls and talk uh, normally as a human. And uh, there is also a separate file called server ultravox. And if you run this, uh, there is ultravox implementation. And for this, you need to update the environmental file. I have added one environmental example as well. So in this, you need the port, you need phone number ID. Please note, this is not phone number, this is phone number ID from Meta, WhatsApp. Then this is the Meta access token, Facebook access token, we can call it. Then this is the call mode, you can change it, like you want to do the normal mode or ultravox mode. And this is the ultravox API key. So how I did this? So I have followed uh, the cloud API documentation from, uh, from Meta. It has given you the full working flow and how you should set this up. Like you need a uh, WhatsApp business account, uh, then you have to subscribe to call for a book. And these steps you need to follow. So let me show you what my application setup. So this is my app, Meta app or Facebook app. 
within this app, I have added the products like WhatsApp and Webhook. Webhook is added by default. You just need to add the WhatsApp as a product. Once you add this, you can see that here is Webhooks and WhatsApp. So if I click on Webhooks, I have to enable the calls feature. So I will select this from drop down. I will select WhatsApp business account. Then I will provide my callback URL, which is my Node.js application. Either you can run from your own server or you can run a local host and connect it via ng rock. Right? It's a HTTP tunnel so that your local application will be in a public interview. And within that, uh, there is a calls permission, right? You have to subscribe through this. So this is very important step. Without this, it will not work. So once you did this, then the second setup is through WhatsApp. In this API setup, you need to provide uh, your WhatsApp number or add the new WhatsApp number. So once you did that, there is a step to adding the phone number. In this WhatsApp manager, so this is also important step. In this WhatsApp number, you will always get one test number and you can add your own numbers below. Uh, click on this number. Within this, there are call settings. And here, you have to enable this allow voice calls, right? You have to set this out, allow voice calls and allow callbacks. So this way, uh, your setup will be ready to do the WhatsApp calls. Okay. So... Let me know if you have any queries, uh, you can contact me uh, or have my WhatsApp numbers and also you can create the issue on uh, GitHub as well. Uh, we are updating this uh, repository as uh, we are building this and you will keep updating it uh, uh, for your reference. Thank you.